Last but not least, let's explore one final feature. Sales order processing within NetSuite via checkout.com credit card transactions. Within the customer record, we can add a card at any time and store the payment token harnessed by checkout.com technology. We simply add the card at the customer record level. We can then review the financial tab under the NetSuite customer record, expose the checkout CC token tab, and confirm payment details have been captured. Next, let's create a sales order where we can utilize this payment method via hosted checkout. Again, within the sales order template, we're going to assign a location, select the desired item for sale, generate shipping, update the billing, and in this case, because we're leveraging checkout.com, we're going to go to the checkout.com tab and select the desired payment record. Finally, we can save this template. Go back to billing, review the checkout.com tab. We'll see it's now using the payment method defined and overriding the existing native NetSuite payments with the checkout payment method. We'll bill the remaining sales order. Notice this is going to create a respective cash sale record with the credit card capture. We can see the sales order that this cash sale was generated from, as well as the payment details under checkout.com. Finally, we save the cash sale record. We'll notice this has been successful. We can review under billing any payment events as well as the card and file. We can see payment details. We'll go to the GL Impact to confirm this has been coded for undeposited funds. We'll go to Transactions, Bank, Make Deposits once more. Notice this cash sale is transaction number 83. We again filter by the desired GL account. We'll notice transaction 83 and select save under the deposit. This has now created a corresponding deposit number 20 within NetSuite, coded for checking-US, and you can review the deposit details. Last but not least, let's review the GL impact coded for checking-US, and we can go to transactions bank, match bank data, where we can complete this payment reconciliation. Well, one final time, filter by checking-us, filter by today, and look for our corresponding deposit transaction number. Thank you very much for watching this documentation. Have a wonderful day.